It's the NFL on EA Sports, where we'll see two of the NFL's oldest and most storied franchises. It's the Cardinals and the Pack, and it's coming up next. And we come to you from one of the truly iconic stadiums in the NFL as you get a look at Lambeau Field here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn. Happy to be with you. And CD, as we get this thing going, give the folks at home something to keep their eye on. The running game for both teams, because I think this is going to be an old-fashioned, old-school type of a game. Physical, who wins up front, who runs the ball the best and controls the clock, they will come out the victor. Ready for football now from sunny Wisconsin. And off we go from Lambeau. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Cardinals offense heading out, and they do so behind Kyler Murray, their dynamic quarterback in his sixth season now from Oklahoma. And now that he's back at full health, they're expecting Kyler to get back to being the superstar playmaker that they drafted. Make no mistake about it, when he's fully healthy, there are many quarterbacks who are as dynamic as he is. And if he's able to stay on the field, this team has a real chance to make some noise. They'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Ball at the 33, second and nine. They'll stay on the ground with Connor again. And he'll push ahead for about three to the 36. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. Throwing now is Murray. And this is dropped. Oh, boy. A chance for a big play early, but he could not secure it. If I'm making excuses, and I am, sometimes the sun can be difficult on a ball like that. That looked like it was going to be right there, but it's in and out of his hands. And a potential big play goes by the wayside. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 15-yard line. So the Packers make their way out for the first time, and it's Jordan Love that has the keys to the car here in his fifth season as a pro and second as a starter. And Love established himself as a legitimate franchise quarterback a season ago. And let's not forget, he had to exhibit a lot of patience waiting for his opportunity to become the man. And once he got that chance... He hit the ground running. The question now from the rest of the league, can he sustain that success? The Packers certainly believe he will. Second and a couple. Now Love. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. No surprise at all. They're looking for the big man early in this one. The only surprise for them, he couldn't hang on to the pass. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Try to run for it with Jacobs. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. That'll bring up fourth. They had the eight-yard gain on first down, but unable to do much from there. Well, so much for picking it up on the ground on third down. Third play of the drive in this defense showing strong early. I wonder how much of that was scouting. I wonder how much of that was a gut feeling like, okay, let's just go ahead and sell out here and get after them thinking they're going to run the football and stuff them early because they've now set the tone. They've set a precedent right here that if you're going to try and run the ball against us, 
could be hard going throughout this game. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Cards will take over first and 10. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion. Guys are a little I bit know, jumpy. You do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. <laughs> just like us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three now and out. have that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. <laughs> They'll fake it to counter. Now Murray. A uh, short one here caught by McBride. Now we're going to get a stoppage here as we've got an injured Cardinal on the field. Well, hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's a second and eight. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. He'll find his rookie wideout from Ohio State here. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness is a premium for all of that now. They'll try and run for it with counter. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. They're able to convert with a gain of four. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Right back to Connor here on first. To the 36-yard line, stop there. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. They'll work from the 36 on second and six. Murray now. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake. Third down. After watching him drop that slant, I can hear my old coach's voice ringing in my ears right now. You can't run with the ball until you catch it. Trying to get those rack yards before he secured it. Murray now to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. The Cardinal passing game dialed in now. First down. What a drive this has been. Just chewing up the yardage. And here's one of their best plays yet as they finally get down into the red zone and look to finish this off with six. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. On first and 10 is counter. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Big Kenny Clark that time pushing up field to make the tackle for loss. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12.
And they'll accept that penalty. And the ball moved up here now to second and seven following the penalty. Again, it's Connor. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. It looks like the Packers have added an extra DB on third down. Now Murray. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot, it'll be fourth and inches. That looked great when he first took off because in my mind, there was room to run and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that forced him to make a decision with his fourth down call. Traders' kick is good, and the Cardinals have the first points. It's 3-0. Well, both teams kind of feeling each other out here, and now after three drives, we have a score with that field goal. Yeah, they're still waiting for their breakout drive to come to them, all right? They're using the playbook well. They're looking for that extra section that says touchdowns instead of field goals. But they'll take the three for now and try and get set up for more later. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Yeah, let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offensive move a little bit. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That, too. <laughs> a quick first down pickup. Good start after going three and out on their opening drive. Yeah, that's a nice pickup there, especially when it comes on the heels of a three and out the first time you have the ball. They were determined to not have that happen again. And that's a nice throw for their first first down of the game. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front. Because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. Shoves him away. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. That one, a gain of 20 in a first down. That was a beautifully executed screen pass. Let the rushers get upfield. The blocking forms in front. Lofted it to the runner. And now, not only does he have open space in front of him, He's got an escort as well, and they pick up big yardage. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's Jacobs from the gun. A short game here, maybe a yard to the 29. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Here's a second and nine now from the 29. They will run the draw with Jacobs, and that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage, and now third and 11 coming up. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty, but when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. So they got him coming up from his linebacker spot. And sometimes the position designation really doesn't matter. If you creep up to the line of scrimmage, you just have to look for the football. Make sure it moves before you do. And they'll send the tight end in motion. Working out of the gun. Love. 
He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Josh Jacobs, 26 yards. And the Packers have answered that early field goal to take a first quarter lead. Now the try here for the point after. He's got it. They'll see that opening drive field goal and raise it a touchdown, and that makes it 7-3. to three. So the drive there took six plays, and the result, a Green Bay score. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points up. Murray has it knocked loose. Fumble. And the Packers pick it up. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. Problems there on the option and a costly turnover. Yeah, partner, you know how we watch practice sometimes and we see those drills where the quarterback's running with the football? and they're swinging pads at him, and the brooms are out, and they're trying to poke at the football for ball security. I have a feeling next week, there'll be an extra session of that each and every day. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. Now, these guys hardly got a chance to catch their breath after the quick turnover, but I doubt they're complaining much. Especially with the field position they get to start with. I wouldn't be complaining either. I'd want to get right back out there and get after them, because now you have an opportunity to make a big play. I'd say I'd let's be aggressive and go after him. He'll wind up losing eight on the sack there, and it's second down. Well, on that one, they, they go with a play fake CD, but I don't think anybody really was fooled. All eyes were fixated on the quarterback, and they got him to the ground. And to run this play successfully, you've got to make sure that everyone is doing their part. You actually have to sell this play. You've got to sell the run action. Otherwise, why do you stop at the running back? You just run straight for the quarterback and put him on the ground. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. A good pickup there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. I don't think anyone thought we'd see a run facing second in that long, and that element of surprise, I think, helped make that play so successful. Nice effort on that carry, and it took what seemed like second and impossible, now has him within throwing range of a first down. Touchdown, Packers! Jaden Reed, 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Packers are able to stretch out their lead. Well executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver, and that one good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. Extra point splits the uprights, and that pushes the lead up to 11. So they only needed three plays on that drive, and it ends with a Packers touchdown. So the Packer kickoff team set to go as they will kick this one away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points to Charles. But they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch partner for both of those units. And they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them 
get out there now and get some points on this drive. Cardinal football here to start quarter number two as they've got it with a second down and two coming up. Murray again, this is Connor. And Connor gonna pick up a Cardinals first down as he'll get this up past the 40. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. To throw, it's Murray. A uh, short one here caught by McBride. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. This second and four. Out of the shotgun, they'll run with counter. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. This defense is really thrown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. Murray going to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 37. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. Well, certainly as a fan, you get a little bit nervous when you see him make those kind of throws. But they work on that in practice more than we know. And most of them now know their limits and know what they can get away with. And there's a completion right there. They run behind center with Connor. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Here's second and three. To throw is Murray. A uh, short one here caught by McBride. Catch number four for him on the afternoon, and it'll give him a first down. Nice grab by McBride, and he's someone who took a massive leap a season ago. Not only did he lead the Cardinals in receiving, but did so by more than 250 yards, and he expects to even have better output this season. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Here's Murray. throw is going to be incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Here's second and ten. Here's Murray. Got his man. It's Dorch. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Five yards, now it's third and five. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. It's a gain of six as they're able to convert, and now it's first and goal. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defensive side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. Three yards is the gain that time, second and goal. Throwing again, Murray. This is caught, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. 
James Conner, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Cardinals have got it back to within a score. Well, CD, you know he's got great options at wide receiver tight end, but there he looks to the backfield, and it results in a touchdown. I love how you laid that out. So many options. You maybe forget about some of the ones that you should be covering, and they made them pay with that one, didn't they? You forget about the guys in the backfield? They're eligible, too. Now Matt Prater for the point after. And he's got it. That cuts the lead. It's now 14 to 10. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And the Cardinals cap it with a touchdown. And after the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Packers offense and running back Josh Jacobs set to take over once more. And he has been a big component of the passing game so far. You see the numbers for this first half. This defense is going to need to find some way to key in on him because he is eating him up right now. And the running lanes non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. <laughs> I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, maybe it's better to be lucky than great because I think on that one, he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer. Instead, the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap. Looking deep here for Dobbs. This is caught inside the 15. And he's going to get this deep on the Arizona side of the field. It's a big play there for Green Bay. 65 yards. I'll tell you what, this is not going to be a fun discussion at halftime for this defense. They've been absolutely taken advantage of in the first half. And here's another play for big, big yardage. Here's Jacobs. Oh, spinning away. A good display of power, but it will only get him just inside the five to the four. A nice pickup of six there to get him closer to the end zone, and it'll be second and goal. Hat tip to that offensive line. They're clearing some holes, even down here deep in the red zone. And that's a nice pickup on the ground on first and goal. Second and goal from inside the five. To pass. Here's Jordan Love. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. The way he's been slinging in the first half, you expect everything he throws to go for a touchdown, but I guess he's going to have to wait to try and pick up that third, isn't he? Yeah, I thought he had him for a second, but you're right, not to be. And this offense on third down today, they've been okay, two for three thus far. They're looking at a third and goal here. Love looking to throw it. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. Call it a big loss of 10 there. And it's going to bring up a fourth and goal. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense. So he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Fourth down and no hesitation from Matt LaFleur as he sends out the field goal unit. And this one is right through. And that moves him up by a touchdown now at 17-10. So a nice kick there as they add three to the lead. And from what I've seen so far, Brandon, I think they've been the better of the two teams here in the first half. So even though you want the touchdown, I think that's a nice job there to put three points on the board. So the Packer kickoff team set to go as they will kick this one away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. They find themselves down 17-10 as they come up on a first and 10.
The drive will start with Connor. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on their early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Out of the gun, here's Murray. And the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. It'll go as a loss of about six, and now it brings up third. Now Charles dealing with a third and long. They'll have to try to go back to the air again, and this time avoid the sack. Certainly hard to try to establish momentum when all you're doing is going backwards, not protecting the passer, and he gets dumped on his backside. Well, that last sack puts Murray and the cards in a tough spot. Third and long. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. Blake Gillikin on the punt now on fourth down. And now a fair catch called for and taken just outside the 40-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. Love going to break the huddle. Lead the Packers up here first and 10 at their own 43. He'll give it to Jacobs to start the drive. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Well, let's face it, that's just a helpless feeling for a running back there. He's looking up to find a hole, and all he finds is a whole lot of ticked-off linebacker. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Love now. Got his man. That's Luke Musgrave. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout, and we will. We've got an injured Packer on the field. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. to throw now. Here's Love. Short throw. He's got Kraft. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. In motion, the tight end. Throwing. Love. He finds his man. Complete. That's Jenkins. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. And this pass rush has really been bringing the heat and has already gotten home a few times here in the first half. So how about the play call there? Sometimes if you can't protect, you've got to fool them. Screen passes like that can take a little steam out of what's been a relentless rush so far. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Going back to Love. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Tucker Kraft. An 11-yard touchdown. And the Packers go up by two touchdowns. A good tight end is a heck of a weapon for any quarterback, especially when you're able to create some mismatches. Sometimes they work against a linebacker. Sometimes they work against a smaller defensive back. But when they find it, they go to it, and it often results in touchdowns. Extra point attempt here still to come. Yeah. 
And the lead is up to 14. The drive summary that time, five plays. And the result, a Green Bay score. So the Packer kickoff team set to go as they will kick this one away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. From the 36, Murray. And this one is incomplete. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far. But on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Shotgun now for Murray. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a big conversion there on third down because they did not want to give the ball up here late in the half. They'd love to take the clock all the way down and score. This will definitely help the cause. Again, they'll throw with Murray. They'll get that complete to Harrison. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Second down and four. Throwing now is Murray. That pass completed to Dorch. Now the Cards going to call another timeout. Their second as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. The Packers bringing in an extra member of the secondary here to try for the third down stop. Here's Murray from midfield. He's got his running back out of the backfield. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Again. And Wilson with it complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 25 yards that time. And a nice job by the two of them to not only connect on the pitch and the catch, but to carry over their practice work to the game field. They saw the adjustment by the defense, made an adjustment themselves, and picked up the first down. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the gun, Murray. And they're going to get him. He's sacked back around the 28. They dial up the corner blitz that time, and it delivers to the tune of a nine-yard loss. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! It was a Packers 
Patriots' leading man, quarterback Jordan Love, who turned in a solid performance in that first half. He got off to a hot start with two first-quarter touchdown passes, threw another for good measure in the second quarter. So he has been on target throughout. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Packers offense and quarterback Jordan Love heading back out onto the field. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner. Yeah, they went to the tunnel with a the lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. Love. Right side to Watson. So just three yards on the completion there. And third and eight now. Well, there wasn't much there with that hitch route. They didn't gain what they expected. But sometimes when you call a hitch, you really don't have an alternate to go to. You don't have a second route to throw it to. So sometimes you have to rifle in there and hope for the best. They'll see about converting this third and eight. Working out of the gun. Love. And the pressure will bring him down here. The Cardinals get home for the sack. Bilal Nichols in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that will lead to fourth down. To me, the defense was looking a little gassed near the end of the first half, but they've come out of the locker room with a little extra spring in their step. Wonder what they did at halftime to get them so motivated. I don't know, but that sack looked good. Now let's see if they can build on the momentum of that play. On now is the Packers punter, as he'll punt it away for the second time. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and out will come the offense as they take over. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out, and now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, okay, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for this second half. And this is what they're going to need more of. It's the third quarter. You're trailing. You've got to come out with a renewed sense of purpose. And that's a nice way to kick off the drive with good yardage and a first down. Murray now to throw. His throw incomplete. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. Second and 10. To throw, it's Murray. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. It looked like they had something there, but I think that he was thinking about running with the football before he actually hauled it in, and that led to a big drop. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Murray to air it out again. A short one here caught by McBride, and he'll go down to the ground at the 39, and obviously that's well short of the first. They'll give him four yards there, and that's going to make it fourth down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And any time you see a kicker trot out to try one for 56 yards, you know everything's got to come off perfectly for it to have a chance. If the laces aren't quite right, if he doesn't hit the fat part of the ball just right, 
it's unlikely to go through, and that one winds up no good. About set to get this drive started, the Green Bay offense at the line. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. And it's nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. And that could have been the lifeline they needed. This is a play that could have been made. Instead, it's just going to fall incomplete. Now a second and 10. Off the play fake, Love. And this is caught at the 20. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Jaden Reed, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Packers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. Now for the point after. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays, the long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. So the Packer kickoff team set to go as they will kick this one away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The football going back over to Arizona now. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Play fake, Murray. And his throw here is incomplete. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past, the biggest teaching point. Get your head around, locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Murray. Ball had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. Here comes the Cardinals punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. The home team's offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. And he's been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been totally taken apart, and that is borne out in his numbers. He's been terrific all game long. Now Love. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Play fake. Here's Love. Able to find his man, Kraft. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. It's a gain of 16 and a first down for the green and gold. This is just more of the same. This defense has had no answer on a lot of these throws. They let these receivers run wild. And here's another completion for good yardage.
On play action. Love to throw. And that's caught inside the 30. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Romeo Dobbs, 55 yards. And the Packers add six to their lead. Well, they went play action there and set it up nicely for him. I mean, he can flat fly, and they hit him downfield. And it doesn't take much to create that extra bit of space that a guy of his speed needs. If you go play action, all you want is just a moment where the guy's covering take their attention somewhere else, and then he's by them. And once he's by them, there's no catching them. As they always like to say, if a receiver's even to a defensive back, that means he's leaving. Unless that DB is Charles Davis, right? In that case, he left me a long time ago. Come on now. <laughs> Trust me. Point after, right down the middle. And that'll increase their lead to 28. So the Packer kickoff team set to go as they will kick this one away. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. And the Cardinals getting set to trot out there now. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. A short one here caught by McBride. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Now Murray. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Well, he and his offense were staring down what was likely a three and out. Zero fear from his side, though. Never doubt for a second they pick up the first. He's ready to pull the trigger on a keeper the moment it revealed itself. So it looks like somebody may have forgotten the snap count, and a five-yard penalty ensues. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. Connor up the middle. And he'll be brought down right on the 50, a gain of three. Well, this defense had got the four-score advantage, and you can see why they continue to bottle up the run game, and really they've just been sharp in all facets here in this one, CD. Yeah, they've kept that offense in check the entire game, and I think it's been led by what you just talked about, that defensive front which has not allowed them to run the football and establish control of the line of scrimmage. Connor going to get it again on second down. And there just continues to be nowhere to run. He's bottled up again at the line of scrimmage. Maybe a gain of a yard that time, but yeah, from the spot, actually no gain. So third and long. They need 12 here. It's third down. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Able to get this one to McBride. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll be fourth down. Now that's going to be a tough one to explain when they get together and watch the game film, isn't it? I mean, they had the right call, had the out route. He's got to know where the first down sticks are, yet he steps out of bounds that close. Not their best play. And he's going to miss this one. That is no good. Well outside the left upright, and they will remain well, well behind. Well, Brandon, anything beyond 50, you start rolling the dice a bit. And once you get up around 57, 58 yards, the chances of making it go down dramatically. And sure enough, this one winds up no good. 
The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They have picked up right where they left off in half number one, just looking really dominant, extending this lead. And it's fun to see when teams actually do that because so many times you go into the half after playing well and you kind of relax a little bit. Ah, we've got this. We can kind of punch the button whenever we get good and ready. But for a team to keep the intensity and keep the execution up and come back after the half and play so well, that's actually really, really nice to see. And a pedal to the metal. That's what we're seeing right now. Well, they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. Here's Love. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. I know conventional wisdom says, hey, don't get it all back in one play. But sometimes you go ahead and try to. They tried to get it all back on that one. Weren't able to do so. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by, guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. On now is the Packers punter. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Arizona's offense back out and ready to go. And they've got to be a little bit frustrated about that last drive. Missed field goal. Always hurts a team because, you know, you've put something out there. You've given yourself a chance. You're in range, and the ball doesn't go through the post. But it's not something to panic about, I don't believe. Just keep playing and keep going. No gain on the play there. It'll be second down. Now they couldn't get anything going there out on the right side of the flat of the swing pass. And didn't we have a discussion with their staff about wanting to get the backs more involved in the Big passing emphasis. game? Huge emphasis for this game, but obviously the defense had other plans and really made a nice play. Murray going to throw. He'll dump this one off to Connor. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A gain of 10, first down Arizona. Well, the margin on that scoreboard, obviously for them, it looks daunting. But I don't know, Charles. They're probably not focused on that right now. Maybe just chaining together a positive drive with plays like we just saw, giving themselves something to build on. Yeah, I think you're right about that. And what they have to be careful of is getting glued to that scoreboard, trying to do too much. Because if you do that, you're all but guaranteed to start making mistakes. Just focus on one play at a time and make each one successful. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. On the handoff, Connor. And this will be taken across midfield and into Green Bay territory. Brought down that time by Quay Walker. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Second and five. Murray now. Got his man. It's Dorch. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And now two yards to go on third down. Here's Murray. And that will be incomplete. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on fourth. They're going for it. It's Murray. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. 
The Cardinals unable to convert there on fourth down. And the Packers' D comes up with a big stop. Green Bay about set for another series. Here comes Romeo Dobbs. Good day for him so far here in the third quarter. He's hit pay dirt once, over 100 yards, but... Hey, it's the third quarter. He's thinking, I want more, right? He wants more, and it just increases the confidence of his team because every play he makes, that means his quarterback is really feeling good about throwing the football. Probably feels like he can't throw an incomplete pass when he throws it to him right now. Yeah, he's looked really, really sharp. Green Bay, Wisconsin is the spot. Third quarter inside Lambeau. Glad you're with us. Second and ten. Play action this time with Love. Pressure comes and the Cardinals bring him down. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. Well, this has to count as a great team effort today, but this man, he's been at the center of all of it. Really special day for any defense to have this many sacks in a game, even more so for this player. One of the best individual efforts of the season. And they'll bring four receivers into the fold here. It's third and long. Love now. That's to Kraft, the tight end. And he gets this only to the 44-yard line. Not near enough to keep the drive alive. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. On now is the Packers punter, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And the fair catch is taken at about the 13-yard line here. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the Cards are going to have the football with a first and 10 deep in their own territory. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. He'll start the drive with a give to Connor. And his rough afternoon continues. He's going nowhere again. Preston Smith there on the stop. The defensive line made pretty easy work of the offensive line that time. And people get tired of the cliche that the battle is won in the trenches. But it's a cliche because it's true. And how about the battle right there? One on the edge, and the ball carrier did not benefit. Over the middle complete. That's Harrison. And they'll be stopped at the 28 on a play that started at the 14. They pick up 14. Three quarters have come and gone. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Lambeau. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. Throwing now is Murray. That pass completed to Dorch. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. And with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. But we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants his lead to stay right where it is. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. And we constantly talk about people being on the same page. In this situation, the two of them saw the play with the same eyes. They understood where the open spaces were going to be, and they found a way to get there to pick up a new set of downs. To throw is Murray. Screen pass to Connor. Now he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. It'll be a pickup of eight on the screen, and it sets up a third down. That's a nice design there, but sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you, but maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. Now Murray again, and fights him off, dancing to his left. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 36. 
A nice pickup of 10 means that this drive will stay on track. On third and short, not only did he get away from the rush and pick up a first down, he picked up a whole lot more than that. And how did he get it done? Evaded the rush, kept his poise, and then how about him directing traffic as he moved downfield to pick up extra blockers? A really nice run. Pass complete there to Harrison. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Murray now to throw. Catch made right side by Wilson. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. To throw, it's Murray. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Now Murray's got to have this one, escaping the pressure right. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Kyler Murray. 29 yards and the Cardinals get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit and maybe the defense got so caught up in him throwing the football they forgot he can take off too and you often hear about the quarterback being the unaccounted for guy as a runner well even on a passing play he's unaccounted for as a runner and he turned it into a nice game a very nice run and it turns in to six points Prater for the extra point, and that'll cut the lead back down to 21. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And the play that polished it off was the touchdown run by Kyler Murray. And after the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. Well, the win for them at this point seems pretty assured. I mean, still a decent amount of time left here in the fourth quarter, Charles, but you got the football, you're up three scores. They have to be feeling really good about where they're at. I love your observation skills, partner, because I think you saw them charge onto the field, fired up about another chance to get into the end zone. Looks to me like this group is ready to crush any hope left on the opposing sideline, and they want to do it with some gusto, too. Well, they've certainly been successful throwing it around in this game, and that's allowed them to move the ball on offense. But I've got to tell you, to watch them run the football and successfully, I'm not taking sides. But to see the ball in a running back's hands, oh, that's football for me. On first down, they go with Jacobs again. Able to power through. And he'll get it across midfield and down into Cardinal territory. 40 yards rushing for him now to this point. Didn't get to the sticks, but that's an ideal carry there on first down, isn't it? I mean, now you're second and one. Although, you know, in the NFL, even if you picked up the first down, I don't think it's a big difference because the clock doesn't stop. Yeah, not like college. Right. If it's college football, you want to second and one is probably better than picking up the first down because in college football, the clock stops with every first down and actually aids the defense in that situation. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Two yards, the loss, and now they go from second and two to a tough third and four. Well, I would have figured after the nine-yard run on the previous play, getting one more yard wouldn't have been much of a problem. But apparently it was, and now it's third down. On third down, here comes Jacobs. And he won't get close. Only a yard, fourth and three. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no gain. On now is the Packers punter, as he's on for the fifth time here today. Yeah. 
And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Well, the football back in the hands of the Arizona Cardinals. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Now second and seven from the 23. Looking to throw. Murray. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and 10. From the gun, Murray. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Here's Murray. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. But at this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense they are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Throwing on second and long, Murray. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Down several scores and playing behind the chains is not the way to have success in this one. Right now, if you're the offensive line, your big concern, protecting your quarterback and giving him a chance to try and throw something downfield to pick up the needed yardage. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Down the right sideline. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Michael Wilson, 72 yards. And the Cardinals have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Now Prater to add the PAT. And the lead will be cut down to 14. The drive summary, four plays, 75 yards. And it winds up in a touchdown for Arizona. And after the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. So fourth quarter, a nice run there to start this drive. Charles, what do you think the split will be here between run and pass? Well, partner, I think it'll lean towards the run, but this is also not a time where you just totally do that. You still have to possess the ball, move the sticks, and keep the clock moving as well. So they'll run their offense, but yeah, when they have a chance to run it, they'll do that a little bit more. The second down play, not much better than the first, just a gain of one there. And this is the worry because sometimes you can get a little too predictable in spots like this. You know you're going to run the ball, but they know you're going to run the ball as well. And now you look up, and you're staring at an important third down. Love from the gun on third down. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 
But when you're up by two scores in the fourth quarter and you're going to throw the football, expect to see a lot of man coverage because usually what comes along with man coverage is pressure. So if you're a play caller and you want to keep throwing the football, that's fine. Just make sure your offensive line understands they're going to get additional guys running at the quarterback. Love looking to throw it. Now this aired out deep for Reed. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Going for the knockout blow right there. I think if I'm up two scores, I'd be worried about an interception. But playing this way is what got him this lead. So you may as well ride it out to the end. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Jacob's going to try the middle. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 50 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 16 times. Well, I don't think there's any question, Brandon, at this stage. The stop troops, the defensive guys, they've got to use their three timeouts here. They've got to stop them and get the ball back. Yeah, if you're in that two to three score deficit window that they're in now, you got to get it ASAP. Yeah, no doubt about it. Stop them, use your timeouts. Easier to move the ball on offense without timeouts than to stop them on defense without using them. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. 11 yards for number 11. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter. Looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips. They're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys are just saying, let's just keep running it at them. We've got them now. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. Once again, it's Jacobs. And a short gain here down to the 22. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Working out of the gun. Love. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. Third and 10 wasn't going to be easy. Now after the holding penalty, they have to deal with a third and 20. They will run out of the gun with Jacobs. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31 yard line. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up a fourth down. So now the Packers turn things over to the special teams crew. They're on for the field goal try. This to make it a three-score game late. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. 
So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. So the Packer kickoff team set to go as they will kick this one away. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Cardinals offense now works their way back onto the field. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's <laughs> get out of here and do something some <laughs> other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. So after the sack, they'll come up on a still manageable second and 13. Out of the gun, here's Murray. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine-yard loss. So, Brandon, we sat in with a lot of coaches, and when they talk about things they want to accomplish offensively, I'm not sure that sack and sack are on their play sheet. Murray, one final try. Under pressure, they got him again. A higher scoring game, Charles, than we typically see in the National Football League, but fun to watch these offenses. They were really clicking. It seemed like everything that they dialed up worked. Yeah, it certainly was fun to watch from our perspective. How'd you like to be those defensive coaches, though? That wasn't a blast for them at all. And let's face it, they all game plan, they all scout, they all think they're prepared. But executing and stopping teams, that's another matter entirely. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Packers are winners here as we say so long from Lambeau.